Welcome back to the Don't Look Back Network for tonight's playthrough of the bathhouse. Another chill as art game, as you can see. So hope everybody's ready for another hour and a half of weird VHS aesthetics and people with no discernible profile features, as all of our games have both of those. Uh, you know, the thing I love about this guy's games, or this team's games, I don't know if it's just one guy or not, but is they take regular mundane places and make them creepy as fuck very effectively. Like, convenience store. Who makes a convenience store creepy as shit? But they did it. And the one before this was uh, just a house, you know. I mean, that was... Uh, it, but it was creepy. It was creepy as hell. I mean, the end chase mechanics maybe want to have a fucking aneurysm, but... It was creepy, and then now they're gonna take a you know normal Japanese bathhouse and make it creepy as balls. So here we go. So far, the scariest thing is the loading time. <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. What the hell? Got a monk. It looks like a monkey. He's dressed like a monkey. He's whipping a pole for some reason. I wonder if there was supposed to be another person there and it glitched out. I'm tired of working at the company. I need to quit the job and it's not healthy. Quit and go to the countryside. But I don't have that kind of money. What is this mess? A flyer? This is it. Rent is free if you work at a bathhouse. Well, your first red flag that your horrible shit is about to happen is rent is free. <laughs> Turn and run. Right there. I'll call, you, I'll call them now. Let's move out. Alright. Day one. Akamura... Mina Akimura. Okay. Room 203. Gotta bring my stuff first. It's probably right there with the light on. Alright. Let's get all your crap. Head on up here. Uh, can't get in. Door's locked. Oh shit, somebody's coming. Oh my god, he's got a ski mask on. We're gonna get raped. Oh, never mind. What the fuck? It's just a... He's got a... his face is just shaded really weird, and he just opens the conversation with, You should take a bath. Well, you should fix your face. After you're done moving your stuff, come meet me at the local bathhouse. There's a thing I want to tell you. Here, this is the key to your apartment. Welcome to the town. Alright. Well, you're... It, look at that. No profile. <laughs> Uh, nailed it. Alright. Enter the apartment. Here we go. Let's put all the boxes down. We got nothing. This bathroom doesn't even have a, this apartment doesn't even have a toilet. What the hell? You gave me an umbrella. But no bathroom. What the hell is that? Pull it out. Creepy hole in the wall. No, I'm not sticking my hand in that. It looks like a glory hole. Fuck that. We're going to the bathhouse right now. Alright. Here we go. Fuck, fuck. Is that a monkey? Is there a monkey loose in this town for some reason? What we got up here? Oh hey, it's another monk. That's probably the same one that was beating the invisible man at the beginning. Or person. <laughs> okay. His face is weirdly shaded too. Can I turn the VHS filter off of this? 
and the motion blur, please. There we go. Didn't fix the space, but alright, sure. Anyway, look who we have here. The new one, I presume. We welcome you with open arms. Well, that sounds like I'm joining a cult. You're working hard to get the bathhouse running again, I heard. I wouldn't do that if I were you. And besides, I sense a presence following you around. Well, I'll take your advice about the presence following me around when you can correctly spell the word presence, you illiterate fuck. I strongly, strongly recommend you get blessed here at my temple. Yeah, sure, why not? You are one obedient child. The gods are happy to hear that from you. What the fuck is happening? Am I getting beat with a chair right now? What the hell was that? There. You are protected for now. Please come by any time, any time you feel strange. The next time you come, you must bring an offering. A monetary offering up. Or the gods will abandon you. Yes, of course. Gods always have money problems, don't they? Always, all of them, all of them, all of them cannot manage money with the shit. Supreme powers, not good with finances. They never are. All right. Oh. On down to the bathhouse we go. Oh, hey, there's landlord. Creepy bastard. Alright. So you came. Welcome, welcome. You've seen the flyer, right? No need to pay the rent. You work at the bathhouse, no rent. That's because it's a shithole with no fucking toilet. Oh, and there's no shower in your room. So you have no choice. If you work here, you can use the bath at the end of every shift. Sounds like a deal, huh? No, it sounds like you're gonna murder me, but... You know, whatever. Do I have a choice? No. Alright now, let's get started right now. See here? Please do all the tasks written on this board. If you have any questions, keep it to yourself. Okay, asshole. It isn't much difficult to run a bathhouse. Good luck. Customers coming. Alright. What's this guy want? A razor, a towel. He paid. Okay. Money in the box. There's your towel. There's your razor. Have a nice day. You creepy smiling asshole. There you go. Go on. <laughs> Mm. That text is coming in really slow from the radio. I'm just gonna wait till it finishes before I read it. Uh, oh, it's another customer. We'll take her or her while we're waiting on that to come in all the way. And I'll take your money. What do you want? Nothing but a towel. Okay. She's very short. Or we're very tall. One or the other. Off you go. There we go. A 29-year-old woman has been missing from Blank Village for the past week. The missing person is 29-year-old resident uh, Blank. According to the police, she has been missing since she spoke with a woman in her 60s who lives nearby. Okay. Customers aren't coming anymore. Press space to take a nap. Sure. <laughs> what the hell? That was that guy, that first guy that came in. What's he doing? And he got spooked by something. What the hell? What was that? I saw something in the sauna room. Did you go check it out for me? You, what do you want me to go check it for? I'm a tiny ass, 20 something year old girl. You're a big, strong guy. Okay. Fine, you big crybaby. I'll go fucking. No. Nope. Nothing in there. There we go. Was there anything? I swear I saw something. This place is giving me the creeps. I'm out of here. Yeah, go on.
Go on. Get. I probably got something else I need to do. He just changed clothes instantly. <laughs> it's hilarious. Alright. What do we gotta do? Brush the floor. How do I get the broom at? In here? Nope. Clean up the place. By doing what? Oh, there's weird black stains all over the floor in there now. <laughs> a broom just magically appeared in the closet. Like, I opened it and it was empty, and now there's a broom in it. <laughs> That's not hilarious. Uh, alright, what is this shit? Oh, I actually have to swipe the mouse back and forth to sweep. <laughs> it's cute. I like it. Get them all. Must be some on the other side, too. Run over there. What the hell? A girl like you is perfect for the offering. What the fuck does that shit mean, creepy ass bitch? Alright. Whatever. Work's done. Take a bath. Alright. What's this? Oh, right here. There we go. The fuck? Something's coming. Something is walking this way, and I can't move. Oh god. Creepy shit's already happening. Oh my god, what a fucking horrible thing. It's gonna be something horrible, isn't it? Oh no, it's just the monkey. Okay. What the hell? not a monkey. That was a creepy ass ghost lady in the sauna room. Alright. Weird. Day two. Alright. Sock. Other sock that doesn't match first sock. Dress, bra, panties, jeans. Can't pick up any of this. I guess we're going to work naked. Creepy ass landlord probably won't mind. Alright. Who the hell is that? Lady, she's got flowers and cards. She won't say anything though. Uh, customer coming. We got a list over there today. Clear the stains on the walls. Find out why electricity bills are rising. All right. No, oh, there he is. Oh, fancy. This guy's got a suit on. Well, he wants a towel. Alright. Hey, bring me a drink in 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. We fix you up a drink real good, massa. Anything else, you fucking asshole? Can you get your own drink? It's right there behind you. Oh, boy. 
There, take your towel and get out of here, you spoiled asshole. Go on. Go take your fucking hot bath. Who is this? Denko. I'm just here to find my earring I dropped. You lying ass bitch, you're gonna go back here and take a free bath, aren't you? Nope, there she goes. I guess she really was looking for her earring. Hello, you can come in. Uh, there's some girl just standing there outside, like half in the curtain, but not coming inside. She's not saying anything either. Okay, in or out? Well, I guess she chose out. Alright. Customers aren't coming. Space to take a nap. All right. It's been about 15 minutes. Got to get that man a drink. All right. All right. Here we go. Good girl. Listen. Why do you work here? Well, because I'm broke, and the landlord is renting me a shithole for free if I work in this other shithole. I have no choice. You always have a choice. You want to work for me? A girl like you could easily make a thousand times what you make now. Why doing what? Being a prostitute? No, thank you. I'm good, you fucking asshole. What do you think? Well, let's not waste your precious life here. Well, I don't want to waste it getting fucking gangbanged by strangers either, you jackass. I'm not interested there. Pathetic. You think you're more than you're actually worth? What does that even mean? Better be careful. I'm being nice here. If it wasn't me, you really will have no choice. What the fuck? Look how shiny he is. He's almost silver. He looks like the fucking T-1000 from Terminator 2. Ugh. Oh, he's got tattoos all over him. He must be a... What do they call the mafia over there? Yakuza? Yakuza, however they pronounce it. Uh, we got a clean bucket here. Clean stains on the walls, alright. Oh, shit. Oh, no. The lights are off. Gotta figure out a way to get it working again. Alright, how do we do that? How do I not carry this bucket around? Where's the fuse box in this shithole? Right. There's a toilet. That's not a door. That's just a sauna. Alright. Oh wait, hold on, there's power lines running off the top there. Just right across the street, between the buildings and shit. And there's an arrow over there, what is that? It's a fuse box, but it's locked. This is appliance store. Must be those. You know the appliance store, okay. Uh, we got here. Oh, it's that's the lady that came in looking for her fucking earring that she lost. There's a key for the electricity box just suspiciously sitting on the counter there for some reason. What do you think you're doing? Well, I can't just take the key with her standing there, I guess. We're gonna have to get her away somehow. You don't look like the type who can afford things. I'm uh, not. At all. These appliances, they're my babies. Wow, well, way to be creepy. Feel free to take a look, just one thing. Absolutely no barter. You hear me? 
feel free to take a look. Don't even think about haggling. Aren't you using too much electricity? What? Are you saying I'm feeding my babies too much? You must be a crazy person. You shut your mouth and buy or you can head right out. You must be a crazy person. You shut your mouth and buy or you can head right out. Well, you sound like a broken record player. Weird ass bitch. You know, I can't take the key. How do we get her away from the fucking counter? Alright, what is this? Fire alarm? Oh, about if we pull the fire alarm, she'll come running. She'll move. And then we can take the key when she's not looking. There we go. Yeah. What are you doing? It was an accident. Oh, good. She's away from the counter. That's good. Yep. I shall go steal your electricity box key that you conveniently left on the counter for me. <laughs> Alright. So that's why the power went off in the bathhouse. Because this fucking bitch over here was bleaching the power off me to power her fucking appliances that she talks about like they're her fucking kids. There we go. Now we can go clean the stains off the walls. Alright. Let's start with this side. Well, we gotta do the same swiping motion for this too. What? There's only two on the side. Right, there's another one. That one didn't come off. And that one looks like a person. That's creepy as shit. Uh, we're gonna go to the other side now. I don't I don't even want to look at that creepy ass black stain shaped like a fucking creepy girl that won't come off when I scrub it. Work's done. Take a bath. Uh, we're on the wrong side. We gotta go back to the women's side. Do that. There we go. Yes, noises. Well, creepy ass whispering. What are we doing now? Um, what the fuck? Well, we're taking a bath too. Okay. Alright. Supposed to see something there? Cause I didn't see squat. Wait. And the showers are running on the men's side all of a sudden. There's nobody in here. Somebody just turned a bunch of the faucets on. back from the women's side again. Now the men's side is closed. Yeah, that side is closed now. No 
the monk is outside praying outside the bathhouse. More clothes I can't take. All right. Okay, we're August 11th here, so I guess. Nothing in the fridge. Okay. Back to the bathhouse again for day three. Side's closed, can't get in there, alright. Customer's coming, well. Give me a shampoo. No, you told me you were gonna sacrifice me or other. I'm not giving you jack squat. Well, I guess I have to since you paid me. Shampoo and two towels. Seems odd. Well, you're the ones walking like hunchbacks. We got on the list over there today. Remove Ross from Showerhead, get baking soda from Candy Store, get a sweet potato. What the hell? She'll attack you, Spoliver. Chillapin. What the fuck does that mean? You there, why the glum face? You need help, but you're alright now. You are loved by Chilateki. The fact that you're here with me is proof of that. I give you this, the spirit of Chilatekis. Keep it with you and you will be full of vitality. <laughs> Chilatekis? Chil... Chil... Chilopin... Chilatekis is always with us. Some call him God, but we properly call him Chilateki. I see. I guess I'll take it. That'll be 100,000 yen. What the fuck? You can shove your fake ass God right up your fucking asshole, dude. What? I don't have that kind of money. Chilatin. Careful, girl, before Chilateki abandons you. Chalavin, Chalavin, what the fuck does Chalavin mean? Oh, he took his thing back. You asshole. Hello? Eight. One. Two. Eight, one, two. What the hell does that mean? Why are you telling me tomorrow's date? Because on the calendar today was 8-11. I should make tomorrow 8-12, but... What the fuck? Alright. Is that the new girl? A girl like you, perfect for the offering. Yeah, you already said that, Grandma. That's all for today. Let's see. On the list, it says to get baking soda from the candy store. Why the candy store? Well, that's a good question. Alright, all right. where's the candy store at? Who the hell is this guy standing on the old street? He actually has a profile. I don't believe it. He's dragging a cart of potatoes down the road. All of them look rotten except that one. 
So is this guy we need to get the sweet potato from? Hey, nice to meet you. You want a potato? Yeah, sure. Thank you for considering. However, we have a policy of asking a few potato questions to give you the right to eat one. What the fuck? Where do sweet potatoes grow? Uh, in the dirt? Obviously. When do you harvest them? Uh, it's in the autumn, right? Because it has to be before the vines breathe, I think. Yeah. Do sweet potatoes bloom flowers? Yes, they do. What do they look like? Well, they don't look like dandelions. Between tulips and morning glories, sweet potato flowers look like more like morning glories, I guess. You seem to know your pot potatoes very well. Well, you don't know how to spell the word potato, and you're insulting me? You dick. What is the best way to use sweet potato? Uh, not at all. I think is the answer to that question. Uh, stone bake. Well, well, you have proven worthy to my cream of crop potatoes. Here it is. Enjoy it. But don't eat too fast. Savor it. How about we throw it in the garbage where sweet potatoes belong? I think. I'm just gonna run around the rest of this game with sweet potato holding out in front of me. What the hell is the candy store? That's where we're supposed to be. Let's try that lit up one. We got a wanted poster there. There we go. Enter the candy store. Ow! What the hell is wrong with her face? She got the same weird shading the landlord did, but it's on the bottom of her face and not the top. Looks like she's got a beard. Young lady, you have beautiful eyes. Mind if I take a closer look? Uh, I mean, you're creepy as hell, but yeah, sure. I can't help it when I see such glistening pear. Uh, please don't steal them. I would like to keep them. Thank you. Uh, the missing cat poster. Tahamashan, if you find her, I can give you a special gift. Alright, I don't care about your fucking cat. I need baking powder. What the hell? Well, there's a chest there, but it's locked. I don't see baking soda or baking powder or whatever the hell in here anyway. Maybe she'll give me the baking powder if we go find her stupid cat. Alright. Lord in heaven. Alright. Which way? Where'd your cat go? The guy down there just pissing with the door open. That's cool. <laughs> oh, I hear the cat. Uh. Hey, dude. You want a sweet potato? Got a sweet potato here, man. I know you got your hands full of your dick right now, but. How about a sweet potato? No, I guess he doesn't want it. Oh, there's the cat. Now we got a cat in the fucking inventory. And we're closing the toilet. What the hell? Alright. He just disappeared into thin air. Alright, I guess we'll just take this cat back. Is this your cat? Thomas Chan, welcome back. Thank you, young man. You called me a young lady a second ago, now you're calling me a young man. What the fuck? That must be a, a mistranslation. Because she clearly recognized that the player character is female a minute ago, and now she's calling him a man. Now for the gift. I made it especially for you. Take good care of it, will you? Uh... I don't want your creepy ass doll. Uh, can I just have the key? Your that doll is weird as fuck, and I don't want it. Um,
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not taking your fucking creepy doll. No, fuck you. Well, the baking soda was the only thing in that chest. We rescued her cat just to get a fucking the baking soda out of the chest. The poor monkey. It looks like the monkey got run over in the street. Alright. Let's go clean the rust off the shower heads. Is that what it's like? Alright. Work's done. Take it back. Alright. I can't move again. Take a sauna. doing here? I can't move. We're just sitting here steaming. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Creepy dead girl in my sauna. All I wanted was a nice relaxing steam soak. You gotta fucking scare the shit out of me. I'm behind the fence. The back of the town, for some reason. <sighs> Some lady over there standing in the playground. Day four. Leave home. All right, the old lady sitting in the park here. That's the one that was praying outside the bathhouse. So this is the only picture I have of her. Sob, who is the girl in the picture? She's my granddaughter. She, 
she what? She died. She's missing. The creepy landlord ate her. What? She what? Okay, I guess she's not gonna say anything else. Alright. The monk's back. Now, if you need more help, head over to the offertory box and offer a prayer. Oh, that's right, they want money and I don't have any. Alright. Customers coming. Body soap and shampoo for this. Yes, sir. Coming right up. Alright. There you go. Oh, she had a kid with her. I'm just gonna change right in the lobby, right in front of everybody. I mean, we got locker rooms and shit, probably. Could have at least changed in the bathroom. Just ran past. Oh, he's on the other side. Oh, well, now he's over there crying. Shout out to the mother. Hey, your child is crying. She did not answer. Alright. What the hell's wrong with him? He's bleeding all over the floor. My hand! Someone help me! Oh, well, how am I supposed to do that? What happened to your hand, man? Why are you bleeding everywhere? Uh -huh. Let's go find his mother. Where did she go? The mother's missing and the child's over there bleeding to death. What the fuck is happening? It says. First aid kit. Sweet. Suspiciously and conveniently placed right in the middle of the floor. There we go. Still hurts. Mother... My mother forced my hand into the fan? What the fuck? Oh shit, there's the mother. What did you do? What do you mean, what did I do? You're the one that stuck your fucking child's hand in a fan, you psycho bitch. I can't believe you hurt my son. I hurt him? I hurt him. I'm the one that banished him after you tried to chop his fingers off, you fucking psycho. Good, don't ever come back here again. I hope somebody takes your kid away from you before you stick his head in a lawnmower. Fucking nutcase. Somebody in the women's bathroom. Who's there? Fuda? Fuda's the guy, the very first customer that showed up, the one that was scared of the sauna room. Easy there. Thank God someone came. I've run out of toilet paper. Did you bring me some? You're a guy. Why are you in the women's? Uh, I just made a mistake. I really needed to go. <laughs> Could you just bring me the papers? Thanks. Yeah, I guess so. Where's the, that's the toilet paper up there on top of the... Yeah. Does he need the whole package? Holy shit. You saved my life. Well, it's very dry now. Uh, uh, oh, there we go. What do you mean, what is dry? What? Okay, dude. 
Creepy fucking weirdo. Oh, what am I cleaning up now? Unclog the drains. With what? Train cleaner. Okay. Sure. On the other side, I'll leave you over there. Yep. Work's done. Take a bath. Okay. Look into the water. Oh, hey, there's a creepy ass ghost face right under the water. That's creepy as hell. Oh, shit. Did we just die? Oh, fuck me. What the hell is going on here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I can't get out. There's a, literally a layer of hair in front of the door. What the hell do I do? Oh god. Oh god. Where am I supposed to go? The hair's over the boiler room door too. I can't get in there. I'm gonna hold myself up in the sauna. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Maybe we weren't supposed to get away from her. Maybe that was supposed to that had to happen. There was no way out of there. Missing person. Mina Akamura. Oh, we're a missing person now. Is that the end of the game? My si oh no, now we're playing the sibling. My sister hasn't been in touch with me. She said she was depressed and quitting her job. I heard she was going to this place up in the mountains and work at a bathhouse. She isn't answering my calls. Maybe she's busy. I'm worried for her. I should check up on her. I'm going to her place for a night to talk to her. Arena Akimura. You okay? You don't look so good. I'm sure your sister's alright. I'm sure she's just struggling right now, that's all. If you need any help, call me. Yeah, good luck. Your sister's waiting. No, I'm pretty sure my sister's dead, but okay. Sure. I should go check my sister's room. Okay. We got it. We got, we got, we got our bag there. Alright, up the stairs. Looks like she's not home. Oh, fuck. He's scarier than the fucking ghost. You're mine, sister. Welcome, welcome. You said my sister works here. Yeah, she does. However, she's on a trip with a few friends at the moment. You lying motherfucker. She is not. The ghost in your bathhouse killed her. She should be back in less than a week. Can I stay here and wait for her? Of 
course. But the rooms don't have baths. It's a custom here for the residents to use the bathhouse. Do you want to work here while you wait for your sister? Well, not especially, considering that ended with her getting murdered by a ghost woman. What do you say? You can stay here for free if you do. Uh, sure, sounds like fun if I can stay for free. Wonderful. Let's start from today, shall we? Don't worry about not knowing what to do. It isn't much difficult to run a bathhouse. That's room 205. Alright. There we go. Bag down. We got here a creepy ass doll. I'm not taking that one either. All right, let's go to the bathhouse. Find out. Find the ghost that ate my sister. Shoe locker. It's missing the key. Alright. Wash the towels. Get more word for the boiler. Alright. Customers coming. Alright. Towel. Find the end coin. Well, let me put it in the box. Am I supposed to keep this one? Oh, maybe that's the monetary offering for the, uh, the offering box. It's a temple. All she wants is a towel, too. These people love towels, don't they? There you go. The fuck? What's Mina? That's the sister. What the hell? I thought she... Sis? Is that you? That was weird. Your sister randomly just showed up here and giggled and then laughed. Really creepy. Unwashed towels. We might as well keep those because we gotta wash those. Uh, what the hell is this? So non. What is this? The bath is cold. This isn't the cold bath, is it? Did you see my sister? What? I'm the only one here. I don't care about your damn sister. I just want to take a nice hot bath here. I can't believe it. I paid for this, you know. And the boiler system isn't working right at the moment. Well, go fix it then. I'll be waiting in the sauna room until then. Damn it! Now there's another fucking. You don't have much time. You shouldn't be here. She's the one whose granddaughter went missing, apparently. Now what? Now where do we go? We got here. Oh, that's mine as apartment key. Alright. Wait, we need firewood. We need a firewood. Where do I get firewood? 
We got firewood at the temple. Let's go up there and see. Yeah, they do. That. So you may take all the wood you need. Good. I, I'm gonna take it all. Let's throw this coin in here while we're. Paper piece A. All right. I'll do the pad. Well, it gave me my sister's apartment key, so let's go check out her room. <sighs> All right. Nothing. Nothing. The freezer. The microwave. Hey, it's a sweet potato. She kept it for some reason. All right. Nothing here. Check underneath it. To Tommy, you know, you know, what the fuck is that? That's that, that another word for blanket. Okay, you know, let's move it. Oh, we got a newspaper piece C. We got A and C. Where the hell is piece B? Yoko's diary. Why do they hate me so much? Everyone is talking behind my back, ignoring me. Whenever I speak to them, what did I ever do to them? Everything in my life here went downhill until I met him at the temple. He cared for me. He loves me. <laughs> he said we need to keep this relationship a secret. Why well, keep it a secret? All I want is for him to stay close to me. I'm happy as long as I can be with him. She must be in the monk. But who the hell is Yoka? That must be the, the granddaughter that disappeared. I guess. Key in its mouth or something. Garbage. A lock. Got something in there. It looks like a hose. No, that. I get him to drop the key. Can I give him a newspaper clipping piece? Nope. Maybe he wants the sweet potato. Yep. That was it. I can drop the key. Shoe locker key. Alright. Trash place key. That must be the lock for this. Yeah. What is that? The drain tube. What do I want a drain tube for? Alright. Yeah. Alright, let's go fix the boiler, because that's what we're, we were supposed to be doing anyway. Put all this wood in it. Alright. 
Uh, uh, Island. And or lost. Well, it is locked, so it'll only open when the water is drained out. The drain tube is missing. Oh, we have a drain tube. Well, let's stick it on there. And wash the towels. Uh, it's already done. That was a quick wash cycle. Well, the towns are clean. What else we got here? Nothing. Nothing at all. So we just go put the wood in the boiler now. Alright. Oh wait, there's a... Oh, that's right. She's waiting on me to fix the... ...fucking boiler, isn't she? Forgot about that. So just go ahead and put the wood in the boiler then. That's not enough. Need more wood.
key system is working now. I should go tell the lady. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll show you what's on the other side. Right. That's the men's side. Over here. Oh god, it's my fucking sister again. Where the hell did the other lady go? Sis, I was looking for you, but I... And she ran off. Hmm, I guess we're taking another back. There we go. Counting down. What the hell? What the hell does it want me to do? What the hell is all this shit? Uh, it wants me to put all this stuff in the right places. This is one of those stupid mirror image puzzles. It wants me to mirror the positions of whatever is in the other side, the other room. Yeah. That's what it wants. Me to go mimic the the other side. All right, there's a oh god, there's a stool there. There's the shampoo bottle. Our stool, conditioner bottle, the ducky, another bowl. All right, I think we got it.
the docky. Should go in this one. Fuck it up. we going? Running? Oh shit. Oh, we, didn't, we didn't cut through the hair fast enough. Damn. We just perished. Alright, let's try that again. Please don't make me do that stupid puzzle again. Okay. Okay. It's gonna make us do the stupid memory puzzle again, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe not. Nope. Calling ass to room 205 here. Oh, we made it. Alright. If we didn't do that other puzzle right, though, I bet we just fucked up the ending, probably. Where are we going? Why are we going there upside down? What the hell? Got the landlord and the monk down in the boiler room. Fuck is 
going on here? What the hell? The mic just exploded for some reason. And now a girl is climbing out of the blood pool that he left behind. What in the shit? Yeah, there's the landlord. Who also just exploded for some reason. Uh, I have no idea what the fuck happened. I, I don't understand the game at all. We clearly missed a newspaper piece somewhere. And I guess we got the bad ending because we messed up that puzzle or because we didn't find the other newspaper piece. Maybe I was supposed to take the creepy dolls. Maybe it got fucked up because I didn't. I, I figured they would be... I well you can interpret that one for yourself. Uh, creepy as hell, even though I don't fully understand what happened there because we missed some shit, obviously, but... Uh, thank you for watching. That was the bathhouse. Um, I'll let this run out. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna go figure out what our next game's gonna be. Uh, peace, y'all.